What's going on guys? John Elder from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to keep track of the winners and losers for our tic-tac-toe game with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to keep track of winners and losers. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code UZ1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, so I figured we'd probably be done with this tic-tac-toe game by now, but people were like, hey, how do we keep track of winners and losers? So I'm like, ah, yeah, we can do that. So you can see, boom, X wins. Down here, we have a little count. X wins two, O wins zero. If we restart the game, we can try something like this. Now O wins, and the counter increases over here for O. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. Very simple, very straightforward, shouldn't take very long at all. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kivi playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our toe.py file and our toe.kivi file that we've been working on in the last couple of videos. If you haven't seen those videos, check the playlist. And let's just come down here and we've got a label already. Let's just grab this, copy it and paste it in again down here. And instead of an idea of score, let's say, I don't know, game, whatever, call it anything you want. And let's change the size of this. Let's make it real small. We just want to kind of squeeze this down at the bottom. And inside of here, let's say X wins zero, because it's going to start out with zero. And then let's say O wins zero. So this is what will be up on the screen when the program starts, zero to zero, right? And we probably also need a center underscore X for this guy. Let's put this at like, I don't know, 0.5 or something. And let's move this down to like 0 0.05. And our quotation marks have gone wonky. There we go. So 0 0.5, 0 0.05, I think it's probably okay. Let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure this looks okay. Head back over to our terminal. I'm in my CKVMD directory, got my virtual environment turned on. And let's go python toe.py. And we see it down there, that looks okay. All right, that'll work. So let's head back over to our code. And now we need to work a little bit in the toe.py file. And maybe we'll give this a title too while we're at it. You know, why not? Tick, tack, toe. <laughs> I don't know. It's Monday morning. So, Let's come down here and let's keep track of winners and losers. And I'm just going to create a couple of variables here. Let's call this one X win and set that equal to zero. And then let's call this one Y win and let's set this one equal to zero. So when the program starts, it's zero to zero, right? And then anytime somebody wins, we'll just increment this little count here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if we come down here, to our, let's see, what do we think? End game function. This gets called whenever the game is ended and somebody has won, right? So we know who wins by grabbing the text in the last thing that was clicked. If the game, if somebody clicked a button and that caused the game to end, then that's the winner, right? So a.txt is either gonna be an X or an O. So we can come down here and let's uh, keep track of winners and losers. So let's say if a.txt equals x, right? That means x1. I'm just going to grab this whole thing and paste it in here. And it's not going to be score.txt. It's going to be game.txt because remember over here, that's the ID we gave this label, right? So game.txt will be, and then let's also just come back over here and copy this and sort of paste this in. But here, instead of having an actual hard coded number, we want x for the x win and y for the y win to show up here. So here x wins, that's going to be this is going to be self dot x underscore win. And this one over here will just be self dot y underscore win. And that should do the trick. So that's if x wins, right? So we can come over here and say else, and we can just, well, actually, we need this outside of our if else statement, right? And inside of here, what we really just want to do is increment the counter. So we can say self dot x underscore win equals self dot x underscore win plus one, right? So for our else, we just want to do the same thing, 
what with y, right? So y and y. So if the winner is x, increment the x counter. Otherwise, the winner must be o, do the y counter. Now, I'm not really sure why I called this an x and y. It should really be x and o, right? <laughs> that makes more sense. Uh, so whatever. Let's come down here and change this to o, change this to o. But, you know, it doesn't really matter what you call these things. But x and o, that seems just so used to doing x and y on, like, coordinate planes. I don't know. It's Monday. So, okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. Head back over here, python toe.py. Now let's play some tic-tac-toe. So boom, x wins one down there. That looks good. Play again. So o, o wins down here, one to one. And it looks like it works. So if we boom, play again, x wins two, o wins one. And that's all there is to it. So super quick, super easy. You could probably do this a thousand different ways, but ah, this works. Let's create a little counter. So much of programming is using counters and incrementing then and running logic. And then, you know, it seems like almost everything we do, we're creating a counter, but ah, that's coding and uh, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodingMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.